Let's talk about software. Um, uh, Mac OS Monterey, which is the name, assuming you've watched the keynote or at least read some of the news, folks. Um, the the and I'm I'm kind of jumping into the first thing that that gave me a little pause, which was when they talked about automation. Shortcuts yeah. is the future of automation on the Mac. You can import automator workflows into shortcuts on day one and the third quote, this begins a multi-year transition, which tells me very clearly that Apple script and automator are going away in favor of shortcuts. Well, a lot of people were surprised because they were like, you know, when they came out with shortcuts on iOS, they're like, well, where's the Mac version? Right. Just as shortcuts. I'm not a big shortcuts person. I'm aware of it. I've played with it. I've built a couple of shortcuts just because uh, that's my nature. Uh, um, but is is shortcuts built on that same Apple event model down to the, you know, how data is represented the way Apple script is? No shortcuts. Remember, shortcuts started as workflow, which right. was a third party app. So they could only leverage public APIs. And to have inter-app communication, what they did was they leveraged URLs, and it's that whole URL scheme. Now, mm -hmm. now that it is, you know, acquired by and part of Apple, I'm presuming that they're using more than just URLs. And so maybe some of what we know to be automator features will actually become first-class features of shortcuts, but uh, I'm a little worried. I, I would my instinct here is that Apple script, it's just not an identical model. You know, no. it, it, there's so much, um, you can get so deep with Apple script into the, the way mm -hmm. apps, um, app, um, Apple models or, you know, data models. Yeah. Constructed. It just feels like they wouldn't just throw that all in the trash. I, I don't, and yet, <laughs> remember, Sal Segoyan doesn't work at Apple anymore, so we don't yeah, have that and, and, internal champion anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You, you mentioned, so while we're on the subject of macOS Monterey, Dave, you mentioned Safari. Talk a little bit more about what you like about the, the, the new tab groups and tab bar there. Okay, so, so the, for folks at home, the, the Safari stuff is, um, I mean, it's it's a real reinvention of the interface it's like they took all the, let's just talk about monterey the mac version of safari but it's impacting every safari ipad iphone right yep um but the um the mac version they basically said look at all these things that are on the screen if you look at if folks at home if you've got a safari window up on your mac and you look at it there's a lot of wasted screen real estate there and they're trying to push that out. It's like bezels on a display. They're trying to, you know, put reduce it, reduce it, make, make your content be the thing that you're looking at rather than all the controls around it and the ways of magic things. So I like I like what they did. I think there's some things that confuse me. For example, the um, there's a reload button that you see on your screen right now on the on on your Mac on your Safari window. There's that circle, you know, snake eating its own tail kind of thing. And then there's the back and the and the forward buttons. Every Safari window has something along those lines. They're less than greater than signs, whatever. But it's I think every browser you use those things, and they appear to be disappearing. There's if when I it was it was very quick in the video. You know, it's not like they they said here. Well, let's walk you through every element of the interface. It was more I'm going to show you a quick little example of using this thing. Bam, 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 and then it was gone. But sure. In that short amount of time, one thing I saw was there's no reload button. And I asked about it and someone, whether they were, I don't know who this person was who told me this, so I, I didn't vet it in any way. Um, but they said it's, everything's converting to, uh, they, they actually sent me a screenshot of something and I don't know what the screenshot was of, but it said, basically we're moving to pull to refresh. Ooh. John, what about you? What do you do? Uh, thoughts on Mac OS Monterey? Um... Like I mentioned, the AirPlay feature, yeah, I thought was really neat because it replaces the functionality of something you used to have to play for. Could you talk about that a little bit about what it is? Well, we we had a listener write in uh, a couple of weeks ago saying, "How do I AirPlay to my Mac?" And I'm like, "Can you even do that?" I mean, obviously, you can AirPlay 
from your iDevice to your Apple TV and stuff like that, or from your Mac to your Apple TV. But the question was, can I airplay to my Mac? And normally you can't. Uh, but we found a third-party product, I can't remember it off the top of my head, that allows both audio and video. Uh, you can make your Mac a host to allow AirPlay audio and video streaming. Um, and uh, so I was pleasantly surprised that Apple was like, hey, guess what? Now you get this for free. So because some people have a need for that. I mean, hey, you got this, you know, fancy computer here. Why can't you stream audio and video to it well now you can now you can yeah exactly yeah they or at make least that... easier than you could in the past that's it they um, make it easier yeah before we okay. leave mac os monterey though i mm -hmm. want to note something they during the keynote they at the end of each segment they will throw up a graphic that that sort of lists all, uh, not lists but highlights mm -hmm. many of the features of whatever it is mac os 15 or well, mac os monterey sorry um, hmm. not 15, iOS 15, those sorts of things. Looking at those graphics, there's almost always something on there that they did not talk about. And one of the things for the Mac that they did not talk about is something called low power mode. Now, to your point, John, this is something we've seen on iOS, but now it is part of Mac OS Monterey. I don't have any details about what low power mode means, but it's definitely a feature of Mac OS Monterey, uh, as announced by Apple today in that graphic. So we'll have to find out more, but that's kind of an interesting thing, don't you think? Mm -hmm. that's that is interesting i like because didn't there's always been some form of low power mode like power nap or whatever i don't even remember all the things but. yeah no i think this is going to mm -hmm. be my guess is it and this is truly a guess folks my guess is that it is mainly focused on m1 max where they can turn off the high power cores or shift more things to the low power cores depending on what you're doing mm -hmm. They could, you know, maybe turn off. I, I don't I don't know what they would turn off, but they could certainly turn off background operations like checking mail in the background, which is what they do on iOS. Right. Like there's there's different things that they could do and we will get to find out. But it is there. So we will but get to patch. find out. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 